Hi guys, I'm the Jacobian Dev and in this video we'll be going through how to add a WPF form to use in a Revit plugin. I'm using the code from the first video in the channel, how to create a plugin in Revit. I've added the link to the video in the description. First I'll open the Solution Explorer. Next I'll add a new item. I'll search for WPF and select User Control WPF. For the name, I'll type UI and click Add. Once the WPF form has been created, I'll change user control to Window. I'll delete the design and height values. I'll then set the width to 365 and the height to 265. I'll adjust the window extent so we can see more of the code. Next, I'll define the grid row definitions inside the grid. I'll set the height for the first row definition to 130. I'll copy the row definition. I'll then set the height to fill up the rest of the grid. Next, I'll add a label. I'll add it to the first row. I'll set the content to select title block. I'll then set the foreground color to black. Next, I'll select on the label and adjust the margins. Next, I'll add a combo box. I'll also add it to the first row. I'll then set the name to title block. I'll select the combo box and adjust the grips. Once that's done, I'll add a button to the second row. I'll set the name property to create. I'll then set the content to create sheet. I'll select the button and also adjust the grips. Next, we need to add the window loaded event handler. I'll select the window and navigate to the properties and in the event handlers tab, I'll double click on loaded to call the function. I'll also call the buttons click event handler. Now in the UICS file, I'll start by adding the Autodesk Revit DB reference. Next, I'll change user control to window. Next in the class, I'll declare the document. I'll also declare a document parameter in the UI's constructor. I'll then equate the global document variable to the constructor's document. Next, in the window loaded function, I need to get all the title blocks and bind them to the combo box as soon as the window loads. I'll declare a new I list of type element named T block types, which will be a new filtered element collector, passing the document as a parameter. The collector will be of category, built in category, OST title blocks. I'll filter for all element types and return the elements. I'll then iterate through the t-block types, adding the t-block name to the title blocks combo box. Next, I'll copy the t-block types list and add it to the create button click handler function. I need to get the selected title block from the combo box. I'll declare a new string variable selected t-block and this will grab the selected string value of the title blocks combo box. Next, I need to get the title block element from the selected title block string. I'll create a new title block instance. Next, I'll iterate through the tblock types list. And if the tblock type name equals the selected title block name, I'll set the title block to the t-block type. 
Next, I'll declare a new transaction named she transaction, which will be a new transaction passing the documents as the first parameter and the name of the transaction create sheets as the second. I'll start the transaction. I'll then declare a new view sheet variable named new sheet, which calls the view sheet create method and requires the document as the first parameter and the title block ID as the second. I'll set the sheet's name to Jacobian and the sheet number to 101. I'll then commit the transaction and lastly I'll close the WPF form. Next I'll navigate to the command file. Here we need to call the WPF form. I'll declare a new WPF form UI passing the document as a parameter. I'll then call the short dialog method to display the UI. Next I'll run the project. I'll select always load to load the plugin. I'll open the CloudDB project and under the Jacobian Dev tab, I'll click on the plugin to display the WPF form. I'll select the A1 metric title block and click create to create a new sheet. Next, I'll navigate to the sheets and here we can see the newly created sheet. That should be it for this video. Please like, share and subscribe.